swish smack there goes minku's snack the sun shined bright on minku's little orange cottage in the forest of toonbun now minku the monkey loved sunny warm days when he would listen with a smile to the bluebird's chirp but today was different today minku heard not the sweet chirp chirp of mother bluebird and her babies but a deep long growl from his stomach oh i'm so hungry said minku rubbing his tummy he searched through his fruit basket but found no bananas and to make it worse all that searching had made him even hungrier not able to bear it any longer minku decided to try his luck outside swishing his tail minku swung from wine to wine but there were still no bananas to find sadly minku started walking down a jungle path when his nose twitched and made him stop he could smell food sniffing harder minku looked about and saw auntie pig walking by with a basket of freshly baked banana bread mm, banana bread my favorite oh how i wish i could have some suddenly from the bushes there came a loud whoop that startled auntie pig oh heavens me she exclaimed looking about but saw nothing and so went her way little knowing that a thick fat slice of banana bread had fallen right out of her basket but minku had seen it and he just could not believe his good luck quickly he ran and grabbed the slice when another hand snatched at it it was morris the monkey this bread slice is mine said morris pulling at it but i saw it drop said minku pulling it back and i made the loud whoop that made it drop said morris not giving up but i'm very hungry Minku wouldn't let go too. Now as the two monkeys kept tugging at the banana bread slice, Cray the cunning cat happened to pass by. Hearing them quarrel, Cray stopped and watched them silently for a while. Then he walked up and politely asked them why they were quarreling. Minku and Morris told Cray that they both had found the slice of banana bread and were trying to decide who would eat it. Wow, why why don't you share it? suggested Cray. Minku and Morris liked the idea but did not trust each other with dividing the slice equally. So the two monkeys held the slice out to Cray and said, "Will you please divide it equally among us?" "Wow, why we will if you insist," said Cray and took the slice. But the fresh baked scent of the bread was too tempting and the cunning cat decided to trick the two monkeys. He divided the slice into two and was about to give them over to Minku and Morris when he exclaimed, "Wow, well, this one is a bit big. I'll take a small bite and make them of equal size." And so saying, he took a bite of Minku's piece. Minku shrieked, "Now Morris's piece is too big." So Cray took a bite of Morris's piece. When Morris said angrily that Minku now had a bigger share, thus it went on. Cray took bite after bite of the banana bread slice, as Minku and Morris acted greedy, and soon there were just a few crumbs of the slice left. Wow! Oh well, who would want these crumbs now? Said Cray and popped the last of the yummy banana bread slice into his mouth, swishing his whiskers and smacking his lips. Cray waved them goodbye and walked off with a smile as the two foolish monkeys gaped, suddenly realizing that their snack was now in the cat's tummy. Poor Minku, he was now all forlorn. For Swish Smack, his snack was now gone.